today's video i am going to explain one of the properties of lattices and this topic is from mathematical foundation for computer science so today's property is isotonic property so here is the statement if l so this is a finite set and less than or equal to is the operation on this finite set so l less than or equal to is a lattice then for so see here for the statements then is so important before then it was given that l less than or equal to is a lattice and after then so we have to prove that so there are three elements here for a comma b comma c belongs to the set lattice as it's a finite set so here b less than or equal to c implies so what is this so this is nothing but join so this is nothing but meet here so this is meet here so a join b less than or equal to a join c and here a meet b less than or equal to a meet c so there is a special importance for this implies so if it's an implies we have to assume that b is less than or equal to c and we have to prove these two so if it is double implies so we have two proofs here one we have to assume this we have to prove this and after that we have to assume these two statements and we have to prove this so it is a one sided implies so we have to assume b is less than or equal to c and we have to prove that a join b less than or equal to a join c for that let me explain you a small tip here see here let me tell you so here i am taking this set so this is a small set closed set and for this so as as you know this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound for this set so remaining elements are in between this set see here so 5 4 3 2 1 and so on so these are all are the lower bounds of the set see here and here 13 14 15 and so on these are all the upper bounds of this set so out of all these upper bound the least upper bound see here out of all the lower bounds so, so these are all the lower bounds out of all the lower bounds the greatest lower bound see here the greatest lower bound is nothing but infimum see here this is nothing but infimum and next one these are all the upper bounds out of all these upper bounds so 12 is the least upper bound see here 15 14 13 12 so this one is the least upper bound so this is the least upper bound which is nothing but supremum so supremum is otherwise known as the least upper bound and infimum is otherwise known as the greatest lower bound so this is the difference so here there are infinitely many lower bounds here and for this set there are infinitely many upper bounds here so out of all these upper bounds and out of all these lower bounds so greatest lower bound is nothing but infimum and the least upper bound is nothing but the supremum if you get an idea definitely you can solve so here what is given here so first of all it is given that l less than or equal to let l less than or equal to be a lattice so here this is a lattice and for a comma b comma c belongs to the set s so we have to assume that let us assume let us assume that b is less than or equal to c this is the assumption so b is less than or equal to c now to prove that so what we have to prove a join b is less than or equal to this is a join c so according to the definition by definition see here it's so simple here so it is so simple according to the definition we have a join b sorry i'm taking a join c here a join c is nothing but the least upper bound of the set see here what are the points here a comma c least upper bound of according to the definition for or it is the least upper bound upper bound means the supremum of a comma c so least upper bound is the supremum so what is the supremum here so this value is the supremum so this acts as a supremum for these two elements so if it, it is the supremum so it will be the greatest so a less than or equal to 
A join C and C less than or equal to the supremum value that is A join C. A join C and as we have here, so which one we assumed here B is less than or equal to C. Now since B is less than or equal to C, so here I can see C here. A less than or equal to A join C and before C I am writing B. Since B is less than or equal to C and C is less than or equal to A join C. So if you observe A is less than or equal to A join C and B is also less than or equal to A join C. Therefore A less than or equal to A join C and B is less than or equal to a join C. So if you observe this one, for the two elements A comma B, A join C is the supremum value. Supremum value. Therefore, A join C is the greatest. So what we call it is the least upper bound. Supremum is nothing but the A or A join B is the maximum value. It is nothing but the least upper bound is the least upper bound for a comma b so here for a comma b a join c is the supremum value so what is the least upper bound of a comma b according to the definition therefore a less than or c is the least upper bound of a comma b therefore a join B is always less than or equal to the supremum value that is A or C. And this is what it is asked to show that. So we got the same statement according to the least upper bound of A comma B is nothing but A or B. So this is nothing but the supremum value. So always the supremum value will be the greatest value among all the elements here. So here let me show you once again. So what is given here L less than or equal to B L lattice. And I have taken as it is a finite set, I have taken three elements A comma B comma C belongs to this finite set L. And let us assume that B is less than or equal to C and I have to prove that A join B less than or equal to A join C. And now let us assume that B less than or equal to C and we have to prove that A join B less than or equal to A join C. See here by the definition of A join C. So what is A join C according to the definition? It is the least upper bound of the two elements A and C. See here what is the least upper bound here? So this is the least upper bound A join C. Least upper bound means the supremum value of these two. So according to the definition, so this element is less than or equal to the supremum value and this element is less than or equal to the supremum value A join B. Since we have B less than or equal to C, see here, first, first we have A less than or equal to A join C and next time B less than or equal to C from our assumption, assumed value, B less than or equal to C and here extinction part C is less than or equal to A join C. So if I take these two and see here if you observe A join C is the supremum value of the set A comma B. See, if it is a supremum set of A, least upper bound of A comma B. What is the least upper bound of A comma B? Which is nothing but according to the definition, it is A join B less than or equal to the supremum value here is A join C. So, this is what it is asked. And next time we have to show that. So, this is proof, proof number one. So, this is the first proof. And the next one, according to the second proof, see what, what we have to do. So, this is proof two. According to the proof 2, now let us assume, now let us assume again L less than or equal to B a lattice. So here also it is a lattice and A comma B comma C belongs to the set. And now let us assume, let us assume that what we have to assume B less than or equal to B less than or equal to C. And now we have to prove that, see here, to prove that, what we have to show that A meet B less than or equal to A meet C. So this is what we have to show and this is what we have to prove. So for proving this one, what we have to take, so according to the definition, see here, again by definition, according to the definition, so first I am taking A meet B. So A meet, meet is nothing but 
infimum value the greatest lower bound of the set what are the elements of the set a comma b so as i said you least lower bound infimum so this value is the infimum value see here this value is infimum value as you know that infimum value will be the least value among these element elements so here a meet b less than or equal to a and again a meet b less than or equal to b and now we have to um, consider so which assumption we have taken b less than or equal to c so we have b less than or equal to c since b less than or equal to c see how i'll join this first one we have a meet b is equal to a and here see a meet b less than or equal to b and for extension part less than or equal to c and now a meet b see here this is less than or equal to a for one time and a meet b less than or equal to c for another time see here a meet b less than or equal to a and again a meet b less than or equal to c when you observe this this inequality see here for a and c a meet b is the infimum value that is the greatest lower bound that's what i'm writing so a intersection sorry so this is a meet b is the greatest lower bound of the set which set it is a comma c so greatest lower bound is nothing but the infimum value so this value acts as a infimum so what we have to do so this is nothing but the greatest lower bound here so a meet b less than or equal to glb of a comma c according to the definition we have according to the definition we have a meet c see here therefore a meet b less than or equal to a meet c so this is how we have to prove that therefore therefore b less than or equal to c implies so what is it we have to we showed here a join b less than or equal to a join c and again a meet b so a meet b less than or equal to this is a meet c so here i have shown that these two proofs and let me explain you once again see here what is given according to the isotonic property l is a finite set and less than or equal to b the relation on this finite set and l less than or equal to b a lattice and then for a comma b comma c belongs to s see here this is implies so we have to suppose this one and we have to prove these two so uh, our assumption is b less than or equal to c have taken and now i am going to prove that a join b less than or equal to a join c now so to prove that a join b less than or equal to a join c it's so simple if you see by the definition a join c according to the definition it is the least upper bound see here it is v here no so upper bound you remember like that so it is the least upper bound of the set a comma c so what is the least upper bound i said you out of all the upper bounds the least one is nothing but the supremum so this acts as a supremum for these two elements so if it's a supremum see here for each and every element this will value will be the greatest value so a less than or equal to a join c and c less than or equal to a join c so we have an assumption that b less than or equal to c see here so first value have taken a less than or equal to a join c and see before c we have b here so let us take this one b less than or equal to c we know and uh, extension part is c less than or equal to this one a join c if i select these two a less than or equal to a join c and b less than or equal to a join c so if you observe a join c here a join c is the greatest value so upper bound it is the least upper bound for the set of the elements a comma b so a join c is the least upper bound of a comma c so this is nothing but least upper bound is nothing but the supremum of a join b so a join b less than or equal to the supremum value that is a join c got it very simple if you understand you can directly straight away do so here this property 2 is again l less than or equal to b a lattice a comma b comma c belongs to the finite set and let us assume that b less than or equal to c and now we have to prove that a meet b less than or equal to a meet c by the definition let us take this one a meet b 
so a made b is nothing but the greatest lower bound of the set a comma b so what is the greatest low to, lower bound i said you out of all the lower bounds the greatest one is the infimum value so if it is inf, infimum value so it is less than or equal to all the elements in the set so a meet b is less than or equal to a and a meet b is less than or equal to b since b less than or equal to c c here so I have written like this a meet b less than or equal to a and a meet b less than or equal to b which is less than or equal to c. If I choose these two and see if you observe a meet b and a meet b. So it is the greatest lower bound of the set a comma c. So what is the greatest lower bound? Infimum. So this value is inferior to these two. So uh, a meet b less than or equal to what is the definition by definition this is nothing but a meet c so here hence we have proved these two and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end i will be uploading many more properties many more problems and have a look at those please practice if you really like you know what to do raise your thumb leave a comment below and share it with your friends